Okay, welcome back. We're going to be continuing our number sense talk with uh, some special types of uh, factors. And when we were looking at factors, we found that index notation was a useful way to shortcut some of those product of primes, multiplying over and over again. Uh, but today we want to look at working with those index numbers. So let's say I have 5 to the power of 3, and I want to multiply that times 5 to the power of 4. How do I work with those? How do I combine these two numbers? Is that going to be 5 times 5 and 3 times 3 so that I end up with five, 25 to the power of 12? Um, maybe if we think about it, we say, well, the base number is 5, so it's something about always being 5. So maybe we keep it 5, but it's 3 times 4, so it's 12. Um, and, or maybe it's something completely different. What is that going to be? Well, what we really need to think about is what does that 5 to the power of 3 mean? It means that that really is just a short way of writing 5 times 5 times 5. And the 5 to the power of 4 in the green square means 5 multiplied 4 times together. So if I expand those out, watch as, as we look here, if that 3 expands out into 5 3's and the 4 into 5 4's, we really see that I have 5 times 5 times 5 in blue times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 in the green. I really have the same base number. I still have 5, but I now have 7 of those 5s. So my short way of writing it is 5 to the power of 7. If I were to actually write all that or multiply all that out, 5 times 5, 25, times 5, another 125, and I kept going times 5 times 5 times 5, we would find it equals 78,125. That's a very large number just for that we can write shortly for 5 to the power of 7. The hint though, expand it out. Take that index number and expand it to see what it really means before multiplying. What about another one? 6 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 4. Is that 12 to the power of 12? 6 times 2 is 12, 3 times 4 is 12. Okay. Is that 62 to the power of 7? Uh, you know, what, what does that really mean? Well, if we imagine what we just did with the 5s, 6 to the power of 3 really means 3 6s multiplied together. And 2 to the power of 4, if we expand that out, watch how we're going to spread this out, is 2 to the power of 4. Okay. Well, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 to the power of 4, but I don't have a common base number. I cannot combine the 6 and the 2 to be at the same base. I actually have two parts there, so I can't combine them. I just multiply them. 6 times 6 times 6, and then times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, using my calculator or on paper, and I just have to multiply it out. There's no way to combine them into a single short index notation. Um, it's just the parts 216 times 16. If we can do each of the parts and multiply them um, together to get that answer, but we can't write it in a more